Where does Kasama's pumpkin obsession come from? In her childhood, the Japanese artist experienced visions of flowers, polka dots, mushrooms, and pumpkins. While at first unsettling to her, Kasama found solace and reassurance in pumpkin, which have become one of her signature motifs. This red and black piece from 1991 represents a short, plump, and stout pumpkin whose ribs are covered in Kasama's signature polka dots. The background's pattern of angular red lines represents a unique and hypnotic version of Kusama's iconic infinity nets motif. In painter Matthew Wong's all-too-brief career, he formed a singular, instantly identifiable aesthetic that seamlessly mixes Western and Eastern influences. This work, called The Painter, was executed the year Wong returned to Canada from Hong Kong and began to find success in the American art scene. The work is splashed with luscious layers of lines, dabs, dots, and wiggles that undulate across the canvas like a mesmerizing melody. For the German painter Gerhard Richter, the opposition between figuration and abstraction is only fictional, since each approach requires the same accuracy in color and composition. This painting from 1993 is part of a prolific series of 105 works. Each revolves around the endless chromatic and visual variations that can be obtained by using a squeegee to mix just three colors, green, blue, and red. The result is a symphony of voluptuous, hazy, melting lines. Renowned artist Yoshitomo Nara's social vision was influenced by the hippie culture and pacifism of the 60s in his native Japan. This 2011 work, simply titled No, portrays a brown-haired young girl with a frowning look, an immediately identifiable figure in Nara's work. The girl expresses her feelings to us by raising her arms and clenching her fists, a deeply alluring image Nara's work reminds us of what's at stake by pairing the innocence of youth with allusions to the more serious matters of contemporary culture.